Hey guys, I decided to make a quick video. My trailer is out of out of alignment. How do I know this is because two of my tires, these front two tires on this side, they've been wearing out. I flipped this one with this one. So actually this tire here was here. I switched it over so I can get back because it was wearing so fast on the inside here. As you can see that, I mean, that's, that's almost bald. And then if you look on the inside over here, this is almost bald. Now see, this tire came off the back. See how it looks good. This one, not so much. And again, this is the one that I, I just switched it over so that I can get home. But as you can see, that's pretty bad. And this one is pretty good. So the problem is on this side. So what did I do? I'll show you guys how to, how to fix that. First thing you wanna do, we have to come up to the front, to the neck here. As you can see, I'm here in the, in the yard. So um, what you wanna do is you wanna find the center point from here down to the ground. As you can see, I have that palm tree just dangling in the wind there. Well, as you can see, I find the middle point here. And so they drop all the way down. We come here, it's dangling now, but uh, the wind wasn't, wasn't blowing. I was able to find where, the, where it points to center line and I put a screw in there. Alright, now after you do that, you're going to need a tape measure, a long one. And this is how you determine how much out of line it is. So what you do, put that in. Now I'll just go measure from side to side. Now, this side over here, was the passenger side it it you can't adjust this side so what you do as you can see down there I, and I pull it back so it's, it's at 32 feet and I'll go to the find me a measuring point and I'll go to the inside part here of the wheel so it's 32 Seven and I don't know what that is. Uh, a mark past seven and a half. So it's thirty-two feet, seven and a half, and that one mark. Uh, I got to figure out what that is, but yeah. So if it's not the same on the other side, then we know it's out of line. So let's go on the other side. Now we're gonna measure from down there to the inside part of this rim. So it's 32 feet, seven, so it's, this looks like 32 feet, eight and a quarter inches. You guys see that? It's like eight and a quarter inches. Okay. So, what we do, as you can see that that's off. By a little less than two inches. So what we do, I've already started on this, but you're gonna need this pipe wrench. The socket that you're gonna need is a, what is this? Uh, this, here. this is a 15th, 16th. Okay, so what you're gonna do, 
trying to put it. This is, this is on here like this. Put this socket, put this socket here, up here, and I use this crescent wrench to hold this side. And you just loosen this up. You loosen up that one, you loosen up this one. Okay, now this thing here is what, is what you adjust to take up for that slack that you have. Um, I think it's one full turn is uh, a quarter inch, I think. Uh, well, something like that. Well, you have to turn a few times to adjust it. And so what I do, now that I have that off, I just kind of turn this part and it's, oh, shit, it's hard to do. From here, hold on. Hard to do with one hand. Let me get over here. Let's see if I can get this. That's a devil to do with one hand here. Okay, here's a better angle. Let's get this in. Just adjust this. Okay, we just turned it a three, three times. So let's see what the new measurement is looking like. Currently we are at 32 feet, eight inches. Look at there, 32 feet, eight inches. All right. That's three turns, so let's see how far it moved. Okay, I'm back on this side. Let's see, 32. It's seven three quarters, okay. We're almost there, so let's see what it looks like on the other side. Throw this over there. Get my exercise in. Oh, let's see, where are we here? Put it from there. All right, we're almost there. I think probably Three more turns, we should get it. Let's try to see. I'm going this way because this uh seems like I get better leverage going this way. If I had a shorter wrench, that would help out a lot. <sighs> uh, that's not working. Let me go back the old way. One, two. Oh, let's see what that looks like. Okay, let's see. Seven and seven eight. Let's see what the other side is looking like. <sighs> Damn. 
Look at there. Seven and seven eighth. Well, we got that part even. That's good to go. Ha, right, so we're in alignment with that. But we have one more thing to do. One more thing. Now we have to measure the distance from here to here. And then we'll adjust it the same way right here. Right here, you know, you take this one, take this, um, loosen this one, loosen that one, and adjust this. All right, let me take a measurement and see where we are. It's hard to do it with one hand here, so. Uh, I just have to take the measurement and let you know. Hold on. Okay, I just measured the distance from here to here, and it's 32 and 3 8 inches, and it's the same on the other side. So I don't have to adjust this. That saved me a little time. Now all I have to do is tighten these bolts back up. This one and this one. And I'll be good to go. Hold on. That's basically it. Everything measures up now. Everything is done. Like I said, all you need is a uh, pipe wrench, crescent wrench. Uh, I use an impact wrench and a socket for a uh, 15, 16. Instead of the crescent wrench, you can use a wrench. That's a 15, 16. I use a little WD-40 to loosen up the bolts. I use old tape measure. This is measured from here to here. And you're definitely gonna need a plumb tool to find the center. And you're gonna need a tape measure, a long one. I suggest at least 50 feet. All right, guys. All of you in the comment, tell me what you think. What could I what could I have added? What did I leave out? I'm waiting on the experts to chime in. Thank you.